Hi, I'm Jesse Duff. Today we're going to talk about the disassembly of your SA-08 Weatherby shotgun to realign a link out of place. Before handling your firearm, please ensure that it is unloaded and the bore is clear of any obstruction. While keeping your firearm pointed in a safe direction, you're going to grasp the receiver in one hand and the magazine cap in the other. Rotate the magazine cap counterclockwise until it separates from the magazine tube. While maintaining control of your firearm, grasp the forearm and move it away from the receiver until it separates from the magazine tube. Next, you're going to remove the barrel by grasping it in your free hand and pulling it away from the receiver until the gas port cylinder separates from the magazine tube. Then you can remove the piston from the magazine tube. Prior to proceeding, you'll need the following tools, a rubber mallet and a punch. Next, we will remove the bolt handle by grasping firmly and pulling straight out. Grasp the slide bar with one hand and move the slide arm assembly away from the receiver. This will also pull the bolt assembly out of the receiver, but take caution because the bolt assembly is not firmly attached to the slide arm. Once the slide arm is free from the magazine tube, you can remove the bolt from the slide arm. Engage the safety located on the trigger assembly. Place the receiver on a flat surface, ensuring that the receiver pin is located over a hole or the edge. Place a punch on the receiver pin and lightly tap until the pin clears the receiver. Grasp the receiver in one hand, push and maintain pressure on the bolt release, place your free hand on the trigger guard, and push up and out to remove the trigger assembly. Now is the point where we begin realigning the link. Align the bolt with the slide arm, placing the cylinder of the slide arm assembly over the magazine tube and move the slide toward the receiver. Slide the bolt into the receiver, aligning the link with the recoil spring cap. Once the bolt is far enough into the receiver, push the bolt handle into the bolt. Next, we will reinstall the trigger assembly. While holding the bolt release button, place the rear of the trigger housing into the rear cut of the receiver. Rock the trigger assembly forward and pull rearward, aligning the hole in the frame of the receiver with the hole in the trigger housing. Then reinstall the retaining pin with the rubber mallet. Please visit the FAQ section on weatherby.com for more assistance. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Weatherby Inc. and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash weatherbyinc. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube to stay up to date of our latest videos.